Hello, it's Gary Champion, Psychic Medium, a little video about your path. Um, choosing a path that works for you is a hard part to do. Picking a path is not a problem. Because just any path will do if you don't know where you're going. Repeat that. If you don't know where you're going, any path will do. Any path. And try not to worry about it too much. At some point, you'll either get to where you're supposed to be or you won't. I do know that if you let the world go by without making decisions, that's what happens. You end up someplace you don't want to be, or your guides have tricked you into going the right way. Actually said tricked you into going the right way. Because often we don't take the path that we should take, we take the path of least resistance. I've never done that. I've always picked the job, the one that was hardest, the one more difficult, something I had to learn a lot to do and didn't particularly pay very well. The money never seemed to be an issue for me. I just wanted the job. I wanted to do the thing. You know, I didn't care so much about money as long as I could live and, you know, I'm a, I've been a renter most of my life. I own a house now. I've owned a bunch of houses, but I never have held on to any of them. This is the first house I've had for a period of time. But um, money is an issue, then you'll pick that path that pays the most money. And for you, that is the path of least resistance. You're going towards something you already you already want, that you you have an inclination toward. Huge number of people. Um, Money is a motivating factor. For some people, it's, can I be close to where I live? Can I find a job close proximity to my house and my wife and my kids? Or does it pay, do I get a vacation with my kids every year? Uh, can I afford to send them to college? Um, big factors. Um, but I do know if you're going down a road and you don't know why you're there, you're not likely to end up someplace unless you ask your guides to do that for you. And I've done that a lot where I was just aimlessly doing something. Well, I was actively pursuing a career, which I had a degree for, a couple of degrees. I was actively pursuing it. And all of a sudden, one day I realized that I shouldn't be there. What was I doing there? Was I crazy? I wasn't suited for it. Too many voices in the room. So... I discovered the best place for me to work is by myself. For you, it may be entirely different. You might like a gathering of three or four people. That may be your comfort zone as far as passing information back and forth and working out a problem and things like that. Um, some people like large crowds, people that are, I guess, narcissistic is a good way. They like, like people to praise them, say nice things about them. Um, but um, it's uh, I'd like to say it's getting harder to pick a path but I believe it's getting easier because there's so many jobs available in almost anything every to here has a you know we're hiring and they're paying good money and even the bus drivers they pay <laughs> they had, they've had people standing out on the street there for a whole year with signs saying we'll pay you twenty dollars an hour to drive a bus used to be pretty good money maybe it isn't now all i'm saying is that every business if they understand if they find out you're not occupied don't have a job they'll ask you to work for them doesn't matter what it is because they don't have enough hands to do the job A lot of companies now hiring, firing people, laying them off or whatever because they overhired. They didn't look at the statistics that the economy is slowing down. They hired 100 people and they should have hired 50 or 20 or whatever it should have been. Now they're having to let them go right after Christmas. Not doesn't tend to make you friends. Uh, we have someone saying a stagnant economy. It's not really going anywhere. Overall, the overall economy is stagnated. It's Inflation's gone up, so the interest rates for buying anything has gone up, so 
cars are on lots, no one's looking at them, houses in the neighborhood for sale, no one's looking at them because the interest rate is twice what it was. It might go up one more time, but at some point it'll have to go back down as inflation drops because that will cool the economy. Inflation will drop, interest rates will drop, and then this will all just start back up. And you probably get a good buy on a car because cars that are a year old sitting on a lot, they, they, they lost a lot of value. So you can negotiate a deal. How is this? Not sure what's going to happen there, except that uh, when this all unfolds, um, it'll uh, house prices will go down because there'll be plenty of them. That's supply and demand. If you have a lot of grains of corn, uh, price drops. Nobody will pay you anything for it. You have very few ears of corn or kernels of corn, and the price goes up, just like in anything else. You got a glut of cars, the price is going to drop. You got a glut of houses, the price will drop. We don't. Have, we, we don't have a glut of houses, but those we do have are not selling because the interest rate's too high. And as I said before, if it were my dream house, I'd pay the higher interest knowing that it's going to drop at some point and I can renegotiate my interest rate. Anyway, someone's saying the party's over. Uh, we had a good, I mean, 08 was a crash, a recession and a crash, and uh, all caused by housing. And this one started the same way. Same kind of issues. And uh, it'll correct itself, but it's going to take time, not in the near future. So, finding your purpose. Someone's reminding me that was the original thought of this video. I do digress. But finding your path is was easy. Um, for me, I really didn't have any choice. I had one skill, and then I had this hidden skill of reading people. It was always a medium, but uh, I just had one other skill, so that's the direction I went. But um, my father gave me one good piece of advice, and all the time I knew him, and it was the best. He said, what do you like to do? I said, I like to do this. He said, why don't you do that? I said, that's, that's genius. <laughs> and it was. He had the exact answer right there. It didn't take him a second to, why don't you do that? Damn, that was easy. Why didn't I figure that out? I'm so smart. Well, anyway. Um, everybody's going to renegotiate. As I said, people will be suing each other. Hit the first of the year. Everybody in the Congress and everything, is all, they're all suing each other for one thing or another using your money and my money to have these suits. This one lady out in Arizona thought that she won the election when she didn't and she sued. Now she owes money because they're going to sue her for that money. She didn't see that one coming because in the past they've always just sued and then whatever your GOP or Democrat, they, they picked it up. That was part of it. And now they courts are saying you owe us $33,000. I know she, either she's so deluded she thought she would win this battle or um, she thought it was a lock or something. Who would who would take the state of Arizona or the election, whatever, to court to prove something that was a non-starter? Apparently all this, um, the machines are rigged. They stole it. No, it goes back to Dummy. He's the guy that said that. And that's what started all this. He emboldened every crazy person to sue for something. And the courts are getting tired of it because it ties up a lot of time and effort and money. So they're going to start sticking that back on them. Anyway, they're sort of protected when they're in office to a certain degree. Um, I don't know. I don't know what their degree of the protection is, but uh, I know they catch them drinking and driving all the time. They, they get fined or taken to jail. So they don't have that. These guys are accusing everybody of everything. It's not possible for all that to be correct. So a lot of suing going on. Drag them into court. Make them look stupid. Well, they're going to do the same with everybody that won an election. Um, I don't know why they're saying that. I can't even say it because I don't know what it means. Anyway. Um, I 
Okay, I'll tell you what I'm getting, but you'll have to figure it out. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, which is a funny movie about coming of age and all that stuff. But I don't. Maybe that's what's going on in the in our Congress. It's Fast Times at Ridgemont High. A lot of drinking and crazy driving and uh, pursuit of activities you shouldn't be pursuing. Anyway, they're a bunch of knuckleheads. I'd, I'd like to fire them all and just start over and get some people with common sense. Get farmers. I mean, they, they have common sense everywhere because that's what they do. Uh, our people in the Congress uh, are speculators now. They speculate about things. They lie about things. They distort the truth in order to get something. Power, money, approval of Mr. Stupid. They love to get approval from Mr. Stupid. So often that's why they get on the bandwagon, get elected, and, and now what are you going to do? They're not, they're not very smart. It's the thing. Tricky people are not necessarily smart. They're just tricky. They figure out a way to subvert the system, um, but it doesn't go anywhere because they don't have any answers. No one more than anybody else does. You have people saying they have the answers for us, but they don't. It's, it's, no one in Congress has the answers. A collection of them, you know, if they would sit down and discuss why to do this, why to do that, yeah, they could, but it's all about power and money, and, and we turn a blind eye to the pork that they legislate to, to get infrastructure redone in their state for nothing using our money again to fix some bridge in some other state that you don't even live in anyway um i've i've not felt well for a while but i feel good now i'm a little skinnier than i was well actually by a lot and uh i'm back on the channel doing stuff um june the 8th Two o'clock Central Standard Time, USA, free readings. Two o'clock, it's in the afternoon on a Sunday. Um, U.S. time, uh, Central Standard Time, USA. Uh, January the 15th, free healing. Yes, I, I haven't been doing any healing because my strength has gone. My, my energy has dropped, uh, having been sick. And amazing, it's come back. So I've, I've taken it off my website. I'm not doing any healings until I can recover my strength. Uh, I forget one of the girls. I don't know if it have been T-Barb or, or I don't know. One of the, I asked the question, does this energy come from me or does it come from some other place? I always felt it came from some other place. But there's a certain amount of your own energy that has to be used to make this happen. And... Um, it's almost like an extra energy, and I don't have it. Well, I, I do have it now. As of yesterday, it came back. Everything cooks along pretty good. So come June the 15th, I should be ready to do some healing. And this is, as usual, it's the chat room healing. Everybody that's in the chat room sends energy to the chat room, and then everybody benefits from it. If you give, you get. It's an interesting thing coming from the other side. Anyway, glad to be doing it again. Hope we can do some good. And um, if you're there, we'll do our best to make you feel better. But you have to provide a certain amount of energy. I suspect that the energy that comes to you through the green room comes down that same trail that the energy you're giving, it's, they're side by side. You're giving energy and the energy is coming back to you in a different way. And it's always going to be stronger than what you give because uh, we have a collection of people there that are good good healers and um, combined is, is pretty strong. I can feel it. So I'm hoping that everybody has fun. That's again June the 8th, free readings. June the 15th, free healing. And um, I'm avoiding talking about what my illness was because I don't think it matters. I'm still here. I'm still moving around. Um, feeling good, brain's working, energy's up, 
doing a lot of readings, but just no healing because it seems to drain me. The readings don't, I can do those. You know, the longest I ever read, I think, was 10 hours straight without, I mean, other than going to the bathroom and eating a sandwich while I was doing it. That's the longest I've ever done. I can do that. So healings are a lot more. See the little orbs going by? I've seen two of them so far. I must be saying something good. You don't get orbs without that. They, I don't know why they love to come into my videos, but they always have. I think one of you noticed it first. I don't think I noticed it. I think one of you noticed it. One of the viewers. So as usual, no fear. I don't have any fear. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for stopping by.